Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be my 10 spring staple pieces. I've got two shoes and the two pairs of shoes and the rest are clothes. So I'm going to get started with the shoes. The first pair of shoes is a pair of hunter boots. Absolutely love these. Definitely worth the splurge if you're going to buy a pair of shoes that expensive, even though I didn't spend full price. I think I got them for like 50 bucks or something from Walmart, but they are the real hunter boots. I just got the matte black and it's pretty, I pretty much wear them black no matter what season it is. And they pretty much go with everything and they're great, especially when it rains. And it's spring in Kentucky, it rains all the time. Okay, so the next pair of shoes is a pair of sneakers. These are just the red and white trainers I got from the 21. Absolutely love them. Don't think they have these anymore. For pretty much any pair of sneakers, I just showed, I just grabbed these because these were the ones in my closet. And I don't wear these as much during the spring because <laughs> it rains so much here, but I do wear sneakers like this pretty much all year round, but especially more in the spring and the summer if it gets warmer. Okay, so now I'm getting into actual clothes. The first pair, the first actual pair of clothes is a pair of leggings. This is just a pair of solid black leggings I got from 21 and they're just stretchy. And if you're going to buy leggings, the, ba the popular basics and the Rue 21 leggings are the best. And leggings are pretty much a staple piece all year round for me, but especially now that it's getting warmer, I can wear the thinner ones. In the winter, I like the ones that are fleece lined, but still, Rue 21 is pretty much my go-to. And yes, I have the cat in here, he wants out. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you before I got distracted by the cat was this, these pair of joggers. Of course, I'm just showing you the red ones because it's the ones I grabbed out of the closet for pretty much any color, and I live in red and black. So, these are from Forever 20, or ugh, Rue 21. These are just the boyfriend joggers, but I absolutely love them because they are a little bit roomier, and just, they're just regular joggers. They're just red. <laughs> okay. So, and for joggers, Rue 21 and Coles are the best. Okay, so moving on. Another spring staple is a tank top. I'm probably still, in the spring, I'm still layering tank tops, but I can still layer them. It really depends, because sometimes spring is <laughs> 40 degrees, and sometimes it's 80. It's, I live in Kentucky. It's quite cooler here, <laughs> especially the weather is bipolar. We can have four seasons in one day. So the next thing is just a tank top. These are the ones that I love from Old Navy. It is wrinkled because I haven't worn it <laughs> in over its winter, so probably about six months. <laughs> so that is, I swear by these, especially the high necks, I don't know why, but I like these. Okay, the next thing is just basic t-shirts, of course. This one is from Kohl's. Kohl's basic t-shirts. It's pretty much where I get them or Rue 21 because it's pretty much the only two places to shop. And this is a purpley pink color. If it would show it's raining outside so the lighting is not great. It's showing up growing on camera. But it's like a purpley color and a white, gray, black. Pretty much, pretty much basic colors but just a basic t-shirt. And then I'm showing you the purple one because in the spring I like to add in more colors. Even though I'm surely pretty much still living in black. Okay. Then, of course, for 
a jacket, just a jean jacket, pretty much a staple all year round, except for in the summer because it's so hot. But even then, sometimes it gets colder at night, so yes, a jean jacket. I just got this one from Kohl's. If you are planning on buttoning them, I would recommend sizing up if you get from get it from Kohl's because this is a small and I don't button it. But if I was going to button it, I would definitely need to get a medium. Okay. So the next laying room piece is just a plain old black cardigan. I have cardigans in pretty much every color, but black is just a safe bet for me. This one's just from Kohl's. It doesn't button or anything. It's just plain black cardigan. So that, and then she then last. So the next next spring staple piece is just a pair of joggers. These are from Kohl's. And I do go light with lighter colors in the spring and the summer. So this is just the lighter pair that I have on joggers. I do have like two or three pairs that are darker. Okay, and the final spring staple piece is just a floral dress. It doesn't have to be white. But I just got white like pink floral pattern on it. Because I bought this last year for Easter or <laughs> Congratulations. I was still working at the daycare last year when I bought this and never got the chance to wear it, so I wore it as part of how I lost it. And I never took the tag off of it. I never realized that. Whoops. <laughs> so, just a spring. It's just a floral dress for spring, so that is going to be it for my spring staple pieces. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you've not done so already, hit the red subscribe button down below. Other than that, thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.